Gurkha VC in the Burma campaign, Netrabahadur Tapa VC. Netrabahadur Tapa was born at Rahu in the Lamjung district of Nepal on 8 January 1916 and was recruited into the 5th Royal Gurkha Rifles Frontier Force in 1932. After training, he joined the 2nd Battalion of his regiment as a rifleman. Subsequently promoted to Landsnake and then to Nape, he joined the recruit training staff of the regimental depot at Abbottabad in 1940 and was promoted to Havildar. He served on the northwest frontier and was promoted to Subadar, before being transferred to the 2nd Battalion of the regiment and being posted to the Chin Hills in Burma with the 17th Indian Division. In March 1944 the division was ordered to withdraw to Imphal to halt the Japanese assault and movement towards the Indian Assam Plains and Bengal. Along the line of communication known as the Titam Imphal Road, Huge numbers of casualties mounted, as the Japanese 15th Army became determined to push through and take Imphal at all costs. During this battle, 2-5th's RGR was stationed in the Bishanpur area, and on June 25th Netrabahadur, then an acting Subadar, was in command of a garrison of 41 soldiers at an isolated hillside PK called, Mortar Bluff. This position was isolated, 400 yards from the nearest other PK, and devoid of cover. It was also overlooked by a position named, Water PK, to the south, which was on higher ground and had been captured by Japanese troops the previous night. It was vital that Mortar Bluff be held, and so a relief force was sent to bolster the PK's forces, itself harassed by sniper fire, at 6.30 pm. Just over an hour later the enemy attack began with 75mm and 37mm artillery pieces on the enemy high ground pouring a constant stream of shells onto the position for 10 minutes, followed up by an infantry attack. Netrabahadur and his men defended themselves fiercely, with Netrabahadur exhorting his men to hold fast, and finally succeeded in driving the Japanese back. Netrabahadur displayed tireless energy, moving between his men's positions, encouraging his young soldiers and tending the wounded. In the lull that followed, Netrabahadur reported his situation to his commanding officer via field telephone, called in more artillery support, and braced for the next assault. Under the cover of jungle, darkness and torrential rain, the next Japanese attack proved just as ferocious, but the Gurkha troops held out until the one section's light machine gun and heavy machine gun jammed. Their firepower reduced, the section was unable to maintain its position and the enemy overran their section of the defenses, killing 12 out of 16 of its defenders. With no reserve to call on, Netrabahadur himself charged forward from his HQ position and stemmed any further advance with a hail of grenades. At this point, with low ammunition, the enemy in partial control of his perimeter and over half his men casualties, Netrabahadur would have been justified in a withdrawal. However, his next report to his CO stated that he intended to hold, and simply requested ammunition and reinforcements. Despite several more attempts, no more ground was gained by the attackers, due to Netrabahadur's efficient plans for defense and deployment of his troops. Eventually, at 4 am the next morning, a section of eight men with grenades and ammunition in support. This drew the attention of the attackers, and very soon all eight were casualties. Undaunted, Netrabahadur retrieved the ammunition and supplies himself, and led a renewed offensive at the head of his platoon HQ, with grenade and kukri. It was in this assault that he was shot in the mouth, and shortly afterwards struck by a grenade blast, which finally killed him. His body was found the next day, still clutching his kukri, lying next to a dead enemy soldier bearing fatal kukri wounds. Sadly, his body was not recovered after the battle and he is commemorated on the Rangoon Memorial at the age of 28. His posthumous VC was presented to his young widow, Nainasara Magarni, by His Excellency the Viceroy, Field Marshal Lord Waybell, on 23 January 1945 at a special parade of the battalion at Noshera in northern India, now Pakistan. <laughs>